I've been craving for Hokkien Prom Mee so much and today I've got just a few bowls of them from Chun Prom Mee House in PJ. What's up everyone, I'm Wayne Liu, welcome to a new eating show on Itoko. I want to do more eating shows like this, so please help me out by subscribing to Itoko's YouTube channel or like Itoko's Facebook page. Today I have Hokkien Prawn Mee, also known as Hokkien Prawn Noodles from Chun Prawn Mee House. And I decided to buy four bowls of Hokkien Prawn Mee today and I have this um, what do you call this? This is called Lobak. I think it's called Lobak. And this is basically a mix of like meat with some like starch, I think. And then on the outside, it's wrapped with bean curd. So I'll be having this as well with some cucumber. And over here is something that I've been looking forward to eat all week, which are squids in curry. Not curry, but like some hot sauce. So let's dig in. Been super hungry. I thought I would have like a breakfast or like a green smoothie today, but because I have some other plans later, I just decided to get some prawn me for brunch instead. So let's. Oh my god. Mm. I'm gonna eat the egg. I like eating prawn mee or hokkien mee as it's known in Penang because of the broth. It's really really good. And what I heard um, before about the making of the broth is that the sellers will take um, prawns, shrimps, together with its shells, heads, like the whole prawn basically, and just cook it for like hours and hours. That's why a good bowl of like prawn mee or prawn noodles usually has a very tasty broth Yeah, the shrimps. <clears throat> I'm just gonna finish the noodles first. So good. 
Chun Promi House is actually one of the few restaurants here in Kuala Lumpur or Petaling Jaya that serves really nice prawn mee. And I'm done with the first bowl. Next. How's your promi? Nice. Yeah. Just making sure not to spill anything. Let's dig into the second bowl. Oh my god. So good. It looks so good. Before I start, I'm gonna grab some squids. Mm. I really like the combination of the chewiness of the squid and the spiciness of the broth. The broth is actually not spicy, it's a, I think it's between like sweet and spicy. So it's actually a very nice combination. I'm actually going to put this away. And continue eating the noodles. For someone like me who is from <clears throat> Penang, where I think the prawn noodle is <clears throat> or prawn mee is originally from, it's really not hard to find a place in Kuala Lumpur or the Klang Valley in general. A good bowl of prawn meat. And I'm super appreciative of Chum Prawn Me House because they simply serve <clears throat> really nice prawn noodles. egg I'm gonna grab a piece of <clears throat> lobak 
The robot is actually just average, I would think. I kind of miss the vegetables that people use to put inside the robot, which they don't have. Like carrots? Yeah, like carrots and... Uh, coriander? <clears throat> no, not coriander. Onion. Sometimes. Shallots. Carrots, actually. As well. <clears throat> Prawns. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, that's disgusting. Now I need it. <clears throat> done with another bowl and I still can't eat because I'm super hungry and this is very very nice yeah squids The burp is coming up. Okay, it's not. Oh, there you go. I don't know whether you guys can hear it, but I just had a mini burp. <clears throat> Not to mention that the portion is also huge. Yeah, it is. Yeah, maybe because <laughs> I ordered four instead of a normal portion. But like, no, I think like for a bowl like this, the portion is actually considered huge. Like back in Penang, like the the noodles will probably be just like just one handful of noodles, and that's it. Are you done with yours? No. Okay. If you're done, you can take like half if you want. <laughs> because I'm almost full. No, you have to finish it. Hard to chew. Mm, 
Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to try? One piece of it. One piece of it. I'm going to drink some water. So last week, <clears throat> I released the first ever Itoko video on both Facebook and YouTube. And on Facebook, I came across this very interesting feature called Premiere. So basically, it's like showing your video to the world for the very first time. So when that happens, so when you schedule or when you put up the Premiere, um, Facebook actually post an announcement and people who are interested can kind of sign up to get notified when the video actually goes out and on the at the time excuse me at the time when the video is actually released it will be released in a, a live format so people will get a notification they will jump in they can leave a comment it's like everybody just watching this video all together and during the release of Itoko's first video I think at one point of time there were like nine or ten people watching it at the same time obviously because uh, a lot of them are my friends and my family and I'm super grateful for that and yeah but the in general like the feature is super cool especially if you are a creator and you have like a fan base or like a group of people who are following and supporting you so you guys should try it out the next time you re release an, a video the problem for me though is that I don't know whether the feature is just too new and Facebook has some bugs so after I kind of set up the video or scheduled the video on uh, the premiere um, I couldn't see my own announcement post so like I can see people liking it I can see people leaving comments on it but when I click into it I cannot see anything like it, Facebook says the post uh, is missing no longer here there could be an error blah 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 but I just cannot see it so I was like using my girlfriend's phone to check up on the comments and stuff and I only can start seeing it when the premiere was released so when the premiere is actually live I was able to jump in and just interact with people and all that but like before that like when it's just an announcement post for some reasons I just couldn't see it and I contacted Facebook and they just couldn't replicate the problem so for now I'll see what happens to this video it's really it's a really cool feature and um, I'll definitely use it again when I'm releasing this video because it just gets you the engagement I guess mm. 
You know, I don't want to eat the big prawn. I'm good with my noodles. I don't know why, but the longer I eat it, the sweeter the broth tastes. Like, it's just not spicy anymore. They gave us a few pack of like chili. I didn't put them in because I'm not like a spicy person. But for some reasons, like the longer I eat this, the more the broth becomes sweeter. Hmm. I think it would be actually nice for them to sell <clears throat> like a bowl of just prawns in broth. Uh, I think they do have any other cuts, just like your mm. I don't know why they give <clears throat> so many eggs. This is big. Usually you get like a quarter. I won't eat the sick. It will fill me up before I know it. So let's move on to the next bowl. Mm -hmm. ah. This is the last and final bowl. Water. Speaking about videos, <clears throat> last week I came across this news that Instagram is looking at <clears throat> experimenting with a feature that allows um, brands or individuals to post same photo but to multiple Instagram accounts and this is not necessarily a big thing but it also kind of implies that um, Instagram which is under Facebook is slowly moving away from its focus of uh, originality and slowly towards making it convenient for people to share or for people to post onto the social network and I think it wouldn't cause a huge impact on Instagram's usage or Instagram's users. But I think um, the move is significant in a way that because Instagram used to be a platform where people go there for like high quality photos and like really beautiful curated photos. But after Facebook took it over, um, they're trying to just, I think, whether to growth hack the usage or just to boost its usage like it's slowly moving away from the concept of instagram being the place for really authentic and original photos to a platform that basically allows people to share and to <clears throat> excuse me to share and to just post their stuff in a more convenient or easy manner so i don't know how that will change instagram but um on the outset like this is the general sentiment that I feel and yeah I'm personally I don't use Instagram anymore um, simply because like it just takes too much time 
to post content to multiple social networks. So right now my focus is really on just YouTube, Facebook, just a page maybe, and then LinkedIn. So these are like my big free social networks. Instagram, not yet. Hmm. The noodles are completely soggy in this bowl. Yeah. This bowl. Yeah, because it has been soaked in the broth for the longest. It's completely soggy. No. No, I, <clears throat> I can still eat the last episode of me eating prosperity burger was actually worse. This is good. Like I like it. It's noodles. It's probably my favorite food. It's nice. It tastes good. Decent portion. I didn't go like with big this time. I just go with like the regular portion. I learned my lesson. So good. <clears throat> One thing that I really started thinking about, instead of like eating foods that's good, I should eat some like shitty food as well. You know, just like I don't know restaurants that get like one star review, and just will get we'll just get something from there. Yeah, you know, like the oh, worst whatever. review restaurant. No, I mean I will probably show like different reactions, like disgust or. Like, <laughs> I don't know, but like yeah, maybe someday.
<clears throat> I'm gonna have my shrimp first. People talk a lot <clears throat> when they're doing eating shows. I don't know if I'm talking a lot. But there are two types of eating shows or two types of mukbangs. One is where the YouTuber or the person will talk a lot. And I don't know how they still they can still finish their food or like on time. And the other type is just eating. Like they zoom the camera all the way in and they just let the audience focus on the food and both types of like mukbangs or like eating shows are equally successful so like i don't know where like what type of eating shows should i produce i'm still looking for my way but i know for sure that eating while talking makes the eating harder it's it's a it's talent to be able to do that well that's what i'm trying to do I'm not gonna eat this egg, it's just too much. So, oh, I'm done with my prawn me. It's left with this. And one squid. Do you want the last squid? Can I? Sure. Yeah, no more squid. Chew, chew, chew. So, <clears throat> last week as well. I read this news, I think, on Tech in Asia or something, that this company called Neuron Mobility entered Malaysia. So what they do is they are basically a startup that offers scooter rental. So scooter is not like this scooter, but it's also this scooter. It's not like the bike. It's not like motorbike scooter. It's the scooter where you just go like you know you still need to like use your legs to move and they launched in cyber jaya and in my head i'm like thinking like whether it will ever take off because i think um the other bicycle sharing startup i think it was like what's the name of the o bike. o bike yeah o bike entered malaysia and i think they couldn't make it and now i'm wondering whether like a scooter sharing service will actually take off in malaysia um, I actually think that it might not. I don't know how they will do outside of Cyberjaya. I don't know if like Cyberjaya is like a bubble, but I don't think they will take off outside of Malaysia, outside of Cyberjaya, 
Wow, multiple burps. It's like a burp streak. Um, the reason is because it's just too hot here. And people are more willing to just drive take the train because it has air conditioner inside um, or just get a grab and just go to where they want to go and taking a scooter is really hard in general I mean like being outdoors is generally hard here in Malaysia so I don't know I think it will have the same fate it's quite sad to say but I think it will have the same fate as old bike unless they take on like the proposition that it's a cool thing to do or like a cool mode of transport transportation otherwise i think it will go the same way as old bike personally i don't think i will use it there's no point like if if it's a if a destination is too far for me to walk or for me to take the train i'll probably get a grab um yeah so i just And grab, yeah, and grab here in Malaysia as compared to like other countries is also cheap. So I, I don't know. We'll see, but I'm not um, optimistic that it will take off. But we'll see how the founders play with it. Um, and another thing is that like recently, I started walking more as well. I wanted to become more active. I started reading reading about like ketogenic diet and all that. Ignore this. All this while I'm saying like something health related, but um, this is only like a once a week thing. But I've started to become more active. So aside from like a short exercise session in the morning, I still go to the gym. And then apart from all that, like apart from all of that, I'm going to eat my loba. Apart from, apart from all of that, I'm also trying to walk at least 10,000 steps a day. And 10,000 steps might sound like a little, but it's a lot. On like before I started this, I look back at like the history because I found out that Apple tracks you, tracks your steps by default anyway. And before I have like a 10,000 steps a day go, I was just walking like 3,500 steps. And that's including walking to the train station, taking the train, walking from the train station to my office, and just like daily walks in the office and all that. I average around 3,500 steps. So 10,000 is actually a lot. In fact, after I had the 10,000 steps a day go, I started to have like on some days, dedicated walking times just to make up for the difference. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, you most of us don't really even walk 10,000 steps so so I have to have that time to just walk you know to make up for the 10,000 steps will it help in the long term I don't know but one thing is for sure it's actually tiring to walk 10,000 steps a day especially if you are just if you are just used to the lifestyle of sitting in front of a computer 10,000 steps is a huge leap ahead in terms of like your daily activity so yeah, for sure. Like, I would see myself as someone being someone that who is more active now, and I'm, I think I'm on a twenty day streak or something. You can look at the screenshot that we sharing here. Um, yeah, and like because of that, recently, for places that I think is walkable, I would choose to walk just to you know make up for that ten thousand steps go. So yeah, so with like coming back to the e-scooter sharing thing, I really think it's going to be very hard for it to take off here in KL even. So, but in general, like, let's see how it goes. The law bar is not nice at all. Maybe you are full. No, I don't like it from the first place. Yeah. yeah, in the first place. Maybe some people like it. 
Okay, good morning. Because you don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, the cucumber more than the robot. And I am done. I just need to finish curing all of this. And yes, super full. I'm super glad that I just finished another eating show for Itoko. That's pretty much it. If you like this show, please make sure to give me a thumbs up or click on the like button over here. And also don't forget to tell me what is your favorite food in the comment section below. And please remember to subscribe. Goodbye.